Hello, it's friends. In this video, I want to show you how you can create this earring. The pattern I've used is a twisted Russian spiral. It's a pattern that I have showed you in one of the previous video. And uh, since a long time ago in that video, I promised you to make uh, a tutorial to show you how you can close the working around. Here I am with a, a different project, but uh, the, the steps are quite the same. If you want to create a bangle bracelet just like this one, as you can see, you have to follow the same steps that I'm going to show you in this tutorial, only you have to make a different length for your spiral. So the spiral has to be longer and then you have to close the working around following the steps that I'm going to show you for this little spiral here. Thank you for everything. Thank you for the support in the comments. And uh, I hope that the tutorial will be clear. See you soon on the next video. Bye bye! To create this beadwork, you need needles. John James needles size 10 or 12 are perfect. You need bead weaving thread. You need three colors of seed beads size 11. You need some bugles and two hooks if you want to create some earrings. Pick up this sequence of beads, one pink bead, one bronze bead, one bugle, one bronze bead, one pink bead, two bronze beads, one green bead and two bronze beads. Carry all these beads to the end of the thread. Close the working around sewing through the beads and if you want you can also make some notes. But I suggest you to make notes only if the beads you are using are size 11 or bigger. I'm going out from the first bronze bead after the green bead. Then I pick up the first sequence, one pink bead, one bronze bead, and I sew through the bronze bead just after the next pink bead, in this way. Pick up one bugle and one bronze bead and sew through the next bronze bead after the bugle. Now pick up one pink bead and two bronze seed beads and sew through the bronze seed bead just after the pink bead. Now pick up one green bead and two bronze seed beads and sew through the bronze seed bead just after the green bead. Now we're going to repeat the same sequences. So before we start with the pink bead and the bronze bead and sew through the bronze bead after the pink bead. Now it's time for a bugle and a bronze bead and sew through the next bronze bead after the bugle. Pick up one pink seed bead and two bronze seed beads and sew through the bronze seed bead just after the pink seed bead. Pick up one green bead and two bronze seed beads and sew through the bronze seed bead just after the green bead. Now we have to start again, so pink bead and bronze bead and sew through the bronze bead just after the pink bead and go on like this until you reach the length you need for the spiral. Here's my spiral. On my spiral there are 62 bugles as you can see and after the bugle number 62 I continue adding beads until I add the last sequence composed by a pink bead and a bronze bead. And as you can see here, I'm going out from the bronze bead just before the bugle. Now, I want to show you how you can close the working around. But if you want to create a bangle bracelet, this length is too small. And so I want to explain the concept that you have to follow to close the working around if you have a different length, if you have more than 62 bugles on the beadwork. The important part is that when you close the working around in this way, the two bugles, as you can see, are in the same position. Here's my spiral. I close the working around here, and as you can see, the two bugles are kissing each other. <laughs> I want to say that in a romantic way. <laughs> they are in a mirror, as you can see. In this way, you can join the two parts. If the bugle was in the opposite position, maybe here, you have to wait, you have to go on working with beads until you have the bugle in the right position. Okay? It's really very simple. So now, no matter which is the length of the, of the spiral, of your spiral, 
These are the steps you have to follow to close the working around, okay? As I said before, I'm going out from the bronze bead just before the bugle, as you can see, this bronze bead here. Now, I saw through the first bugle on the other side of the beadwork, in this way. Here I am, now I turn the work because I need to be more comfort while I'm working with the camera. Now, sew through the bronze bead on the other side of the beadwork. After the bugle, the next sequence to add should be one pink bead and two bronze beads. And I sew through the pink bead and the bronze beads on the other side of the beadwork. Now sew through the bronze bead on the other side just after the pink bead, in this way. Now the next sequence should be one green bead and two bronze beads. And as you can see, I'm going out from the bronze bead here and I sew through the three seed beads on the other side of the beadwork. And I sew through the bronze seed bead just after the green bead on the other side of the beadwork. Next sequence should be one pink bead and one bronze bead. Here they are, I sew through them on the other side of the beadwork. The last step is sewing through the bronze bead just after the pink bead on the other side of the beadwork. At this point close the work sewing through the beads several times until you feel that the thread is fixed on the beadwork. If you want you can also make some notes and uh, there is a tutorial on my channel and uh, I'm going to leave you the link of this tutorial in the information box under the video. If you want to create uh, the little ring of beads uh, to put the hook on the beadwork, let's go outside from a bronze bead just before the bugle or after, it depends on in which way you are watching at the beadwork. Pick up a sequence of beads, I've chosen this one, and sew through the bronze seed bead on the other side of the beadwork. I've put the hook on the earring and the beadwork is completed. Now you have to tie off the thread and before doing that remember to sew through the beads several times or if you want you can make the knots. I hope that this tutorial was clear Thank you for everything and see you soon on the next video. Bye bye!